Nice time is the amount of time uh, a signal takes to get from its low power to its high power signal. The rise time or the fall time of the uh, digital signal that goes through it, that determines the bandwidth of the signal. So rise time is the time that a signal um, goes from high to low and vice versa. So a faster rise time is critical in a high speed connector because you want to get that signal transferred as fast as possible. You can calculate the actual bandwidth required to uh, sample that rise time or filter that rise time at um, uh, basically a 3 dB drop off. And that point is basically 0.35 uh, divided by the rise time equals the bandwidth. So the rise time of the signal determines the uh, overall bandwidth of the bits that and energy that's available for the bits that are being transmitted. As rise time gets shorter, interconnects become a critical portion of a transmission path. Rise time is important because the shorter your rise time, the more bandwidth is required for your signal. Really the amount of energy that that waveform has is really dependent on your rise time. Okay? The faster your rise time, the more energy that you're going to have in frequency. So the faster you're switching a logic level from 0 to a 1 or 1 to a 0 or a combination of bits depending on how you code this uh, stream of bits, it's relevant for us because that tells us, hey, should I be looking my impedance at this given rise time? Should I be looking at my insertion loss at this frequency or my return loss at this frequency? A faster rise time has more frequency content. Connectors can act as filters. Uh, so if you have a higher rise time and high frequency content, some of that signal will be lost uh, through a connector.